Hi ladies and welcome back again to my channel. So this is the fifth video in our Vero tutorial series and if you are unfamiliar with the program in general, I would recommend you start with videos one through four. In this video, we're gonna be talking about exporting our models and our final touches. We're almost there, we're in the final stretch of this and I am so proud of you from coming this far. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've, got our, so we've already gone over a lot of the things that you need to go ahead and build your model. So let's go ahead and go over how you're going to get it out of the program. We're gonna go ahead and talk about final touches before we start exporting, and you'll find most of those options in Look. They kind of allow you to further personalize your model. So under this category, you'll see some cosmetic options to the left. Let's talk about them really quickly. You have outline, which allows you to control the thickness of the outline on the body and the hair and the different parts of um, your model. So if you look here, you'll see that there's this outline here and on the hair. I personally like a thick outline on my models. It gives it a very anime feel, but you can turn down that width here. So like, let's say you don't want it at all, or you like the really thick lines like me. Um, and then it gives you the option to do it on the different parts. So let's say I want a thick outline on the, the face, but not on the hair. I can turn that down or vice versa. I want a really thick outline on the hair and I want a thin outline on the face. So you got a couple of options. You can change the color of your hair outline in this program, but in order to change the outline of everything else, you're gonna have to go outside of the program and use like Unity or something. I'll show you how to do the, the uh, hair style really quickly. If you go to hairstyle, you're gonna have to go into your textures. So you're gonna go into edit hairstyle you're gonna look at your texture material. When you do the drop down, you'll have an option right here. This is how you'll control the outline color. So you also have options for rim light. Your rim light is the little light, lines of light around the edge of your model. I think that they do a very good job of um, separating your model from the background. Um, and you can kind of control, again, separate parts. You have hair, face, and body. The intensity is going to show, like, is going to control how hard that line is, so how opaque it is. Um, it's more of the opacity. And then the concentration is how much it spreads out across the geometry. The shading is gonna um, target how light shows up on your model. Um, if you have the shading area very wide, you'll see that it's automatically gonna put a shadow all over. If you have it thinner, it's gonna kind of recede it a little bit. Um, the softness is how it blends out. So I'm gonna turn it up a little so you can see. Softness is going to fade all that out and then you have it harsh, so you have some harsher shadows. And then you can also combat that with shading hardness. I don't know why they give you like those different options. You would think that if I put it up, I would want it harder I put it down I would want it softer but you got two options they gave you a lot you know so have fun with it and like I said you have the different the different parts of the body eye alignment is how you're gonna align the eyes I don't typically mess with this you have a lot of control um in face and a lot of those parameters so I don't usually mess with it um but you can play around with it if you want to um and then you have bones so like we talked about hair and you have bones that control specifically the hair the entire model has bones um and they kind of give you an option to whether uh whether or not you want to increase the amount of bones in the rest of the model um or or decrease it so that you uh, can kind of control the bones without really having to edit this. So just like the hair before, the more bones you have, the more information, the more movement you can do, less bones, less movement, less information, same thing. So if you turn these down, you're gonna make your model um, smaller, a, sm a smaller file size, um, but you're gonna lose a lot of like movement and stuff like that. This is also something I don't typically miss. Once you're ready to go ahead and um, export your model, you're gonna click on this little symbol here. It's gonna give you a menu. You're going to export export as VRM. You also have a, an option to ex, uh, upload to the Vroid hub, and I'm gonna show you what that is really quickly. So Vroid actually has like a profile, um, kind of like a social media upload place where you can share pictures of your models. You can create different profiles for your models and show the different versions. So this is Lilith's profile. And as you can see, you have the options to kind of look at all her details and all this other stuff. This is what it means when you're uploading to um, Vroid hub. You can create a profile here and you'll be able to show people, it's kind of like a pro portfolio for all of your models. And you can also, once they're uploaded in here, you can use it in the Vroid like mobile photo taker, which allows you to take pictures with like your models outside. Um, it puts them in like an AI, envir uh, AI environment, um, which is really cool. You can also search for like different 
models or whatever. So like if you go here, um, other people have uploaded stuff and you can find just like a different, a lot of different things, a lot of different um, examples, inspiration. Um, so if you're ever like unsure of what you want to do or what you want it to look like, this is a great place to go. This is a great way to put, this is a great way to keep track of all your different models and let other people see what you're up to. So I would recommend making a profile if you're gonna get really into it. But what you're gonna do to export your model is go to export VRM. That's gonna bring you to your model. It's gonna force your model into a T-pose and you will have some options on the side. Um, this is basically another way to reduce information. So if you reduce the things, um, you're going to have less information, reduce the file size. Um, and it's automatically going to delete all of the transparent um, meshes on your model. So just like we have a mesh for the hair and you can't see it, there's a lot of meshes for almost all of the geometry on this model. So what it does is it deletes those um, off the model. So you kind of like lighten it a little bit. Um, you can also reduce the materials and reduce the bones. The only time, um, and in reduced materials, it combines your hair mesh. If you are going to take this into Unity and add blend shapes, which I will show you guys how to do later, um, you're not gonna wanna, uh, delete the transparent meshes. And if you want to edit the hair later, so and, and, and the individual hairs or whatever in a, in a program like Unity or Blender, you're not going to want to combine the hair mesh. It's going to make it a complete like one big shape and you're not going to be able to edit it um, or it's going to be really hard for you to go back in and, and edit it. So um, if you're not going to do either of those, I would leave these checked and then you can go ahead and press export. It's gonna give you two different options, depending again on if you're editing, what programs you're using, and how, um, what version of like Unity you're using, or um, editors that you're using, you may have to decide which one of these. I usually um, do the zero VRM zero. Uh, this is just kind of giving you a, uh, an option on which, what may work better for you. Um, just know that this is probably like the beta version and this is the, the newer version. Um, you're gonna have to put a title for your model. You're gonna have to put your name or who, who created it. You can put contact information and all that other stuff just in case you're selling your models. Um, this is a great way. You're gonna have to press commer commercial use for that as well. Um, so like again, on Vroid Hub, if you want people to, they can download your model and use. So if you wanna make free models for people to use, you can do that. You're gonna need to decide what they're allowed to do. Um, and if they're allowed to sell it or you're allowed to sell it, you're going to want to put that on there so that people know when they have that model that, you know, the licensing is there. Um, you can kind of put like any other information, like if you have like a, a need to read or terms and conditions that you want people to check out before they start using your model, you would put that here and that'll also be attached. Um, and yeah, and then once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and press export. It's going to bring up your file viewer. You're going to find a place to, to to save it, I have a character folder. Um, so I would save it in here. I'm not going to because I already have it, but you would find where you want to save it and then click save. It's going to export your file. And then if you go into your um, into your directory and you find it, you should be able to pull it from there. So that's actually it, y'all. Um, that's how we export. The next thing I will be showing you how to do is setting it up in Twitch, specifically Twitch, because that's what I use it for. There are multiple instances for how you can use it. Once you get the hang of like using it in um, something that's going to read it, like VC Face, Magic Mirror, or something like that, you can kind of apply that same kind of knowledge to other things. I'm gonna specifically show you how to use your models for Twitch. Um, but that'll be our last and final video for the specifically getting started with the program. I will start uploading like more things like to show you how to like upload your assets, how to add uh, blend shapes um, and stuff like that as we go forward. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me and I will answer them as soon as I can, if I can. Yes, I wanna try to help as much as I can. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you like this series, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so that you'll know whenever I do drop a new video um and i'm i have more information for you guys but until then i appreciate you hanging out and taking the time to learn this with me please consider following me on instagram twitch and until next time babies remember that you are loved you are valued and you are important here regardless of what anyone else says including you have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you next time bye babies